Hey, what's going on everybody? Boylon here and welcome to the event video for what's going to be basically coordinated assault and the Barichara Barikara. I, I, I could be pronouncing, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Anyway, is that event for the prelude to Black Cat. So that's going to be the next main event that we're going to be going over here today, which is going to be going live on a Wednesday at 2 p.m. Of course, I always do my event videos about a day in advance. And there actually has been some changes to the Alliance-based event, which I am dubbing Coordinated Assault. It's like Rome, whatever. It's Coordinated Assault. It's just a little bit different uh, this month than it was last month, which actually was named Coordinated Assault. But anyways, we're going to go over that and talk about the changes and how you're going to be able to max as much as you can for both of these events in this video. So if you're ready to go, let's boil this down. And as usual, because we do a kind of recap every week, I want to do my recap of the month-long events so far. Things are actually looking pretty good. And uh, so we've had four reset charges now, including this upcoming event. And there's going to be, I think, uh, six, if I'm not mistaken. You need to open them for the Loki costume. Is it in here? It is down here. But anyways, it's not added yet. But you need to open six of the reset charges to get the costume now. I think there's only six. I'm not 100% sure about this, but there's two more events. We have four right now, and I guess it depends on if we get an extra reset charge anywhere. So we did have one in the first event in Voromir, which was fairly difficult to get if you were not willing to spend, I think it was 400 cores daily, which you had to do in order to get that. We have a very similar event coming with Bar Barikara, Barichara, uh... <laughs> however you say it. I'm just going to ignore saying that. Um, you it's, it's a very similar event. Honestly, a, a lot of it is. Uh, the numbers could be a little bit different and are a little bit different because of the things that are involved. But you're spending campaign energy for Orb Fragments, which is pretty much the same thing. So here is the subtotal so far. We're at 630,000 with about 170k missing. So that's not bad. We still have two main events coming, which is going to be uh, Hala 0051 next week and then Ego 1308 the following week we still have a new york which is some uh alliance based event we've had probably crucible we've had war we've had uh, iso spending there's probably going to be another yeah we didn't have oh no we already had that that was lamentus war uh yeah the crucible there's a crucible event coming probably uh for that so look forward to that and we should be able to make the 800 i i think it actually might be easier to hit the 800k this month than how tight it was last month because it was about only twenty thousand surplus last month so this one should be a fair bit easier but don't quote me on that one so yeah we're up to we're going to be up to four reset charges though uh after this event so let's Talk about Coordinated Assault, a.k.a. Rome 1390. It is a five-day event. You spent ISO 8 energy, and you earned Allied Supply Orb Fragments. Now, this is going to be included in the web milestone. There's a few things in here that I'm not 100% if it's going to be replicated like it was last month. There's a few things that have not been confirmed yet, but I will go over that. So the total milestone points required, and actually what's what's big? the big difference here is that you're getting blue five ions. For the first time on Coordinated Assault, you're getting blue five ions. It's a little bit more blue four, but not by much, but you are getting potentially up to 275K blue five ions. Now, most of us are probably only gonna get 100,000 because if I bring up the uh, milestone chart itself, which is over, where is it? I had it up somewhere. Rome, here we go. Uh, then you can see at the very bottom that it's five Apocalypse Bounty Orbs, 200,000 Blue 4 Ions, and 175,000 Blue 5. Actually, you know what? I made 375. Did I get the number wrong? Maybe I missed out on that one. It is actually 375, I think, in fact. Actually, it's 200,000, 300,000, 375. Uh, yeah, I got the number wrong. My bad. Uh, so there's a little bit more. But anyways... They have upgraded it a tad, so that's fine. But if you don't get to that final milestone of 948k, you're missing out on, on, on most of the blue five ions. So let's just put it that way. There is a lot more Apocalypse Bounty Orbs, though, than there was in the previous last month. Now there's a total of 17 orbs up for grabs. But, you know, a lot of that is in the final milestone. Also, the second to last um, may happen. It depends. So far, I it might happen. But it depends on whether or not there's a huge gap. 
613,000 for milestone 19 and milestone 20 is 948. So that's absolutely a whale stone, uh, but we might be able to get to milestone 19. We'll take a look at that as well. So allied orb fragments from web milestone. This is in the game, or this will be in the game for the event for the starting with the Barichara event. Uh, you get 2,500 allied orb fragments per day. Um, it is a seven day web milestone. However, because this event is only for five days, it's only going to count for five days worth, but you will get a little bit more to open on your own time after the event, I guess, or whatever. Uh, but towards this milestone, you're only going to get five days worth, but over the Alliance for 24 people, this is 300 K points. This is a lot. This is a good portion of it. And actually, in fact, uh, to get to the, the final 10 pads is, you know, what you need for that is, uh, 323,000. So that alone basically covers it and we haven't even talked about ISO 8 spending. There was a free claim in the last month event that was basically 400 fragments per day or one orb over five days. I don't know if this is still going to be here or not. Most likely there will be a free claim of some sort, whether it includes this amount of fragments necessarily. I don't know right off the bat, but that's what we got last month. There was also a login calendar. Now, I don't know if we're getting this again either. Um, usually there are event login calendars. We we have one right now going on for the Asgard event, so that is possible. There's the Asgard 2004 event, which included these godly power orb fragments. So it reasons to believe that we could also be getting this, perhaps. But this was the 7,000 fragments. I, I I don't remember if this was maybe. I think it was split up. Also, we have technically two events running simultaneously, which doesn't always happen um, necessarily. So I don't know. Uh, we'll take a look at what it looks like when you get rid of this number, just in case we don't get this though. So spending ISO eight energy, you get two and one. It's the same as last month. The total ISO eight energy, you're going to get 1130. This is if you do all of your free to play sort of stuff, including your core pack refreshes, which I recommend you say, I, I say this every time there's an ISO eight spending event, make sure that you're spending and stacking your packs up to 500, maybe using it like a little bit before the event goes live uh, but otherwise you know just making sure that you're on top of this and have that maximum amount for when these events do go live so you can refresh without having to spend cores and then that 1130 is going to translate to 2260 daily points times 24 people that's going to be 54,240 daily points and then times five days 271k so that 271 plus the 300k up here from the web milestone that's guaranteed that's absolutely going to be there so that alone is about 571,000. and just to go back to the chart that's actually all the way here up to milestone 18. it's almost to milestone 19 which means that if you pushed or we get a free claim or any of these other things you might be able to get there if we get the free claim that's pretty much going to assuming everyone does the same thing you'll be able to get to milestone 19. so i think it's highly possible that that you'll be able to do that now i'm gonna go on a limb and say we might not get the login calendar so if i delete that uh we're looking at 619,000. and so to go back to this once again that gets you to milestone 19 but it will not get you to milestone 20. i think absolutely that's a whale stone anyway so i would expect somewhere between most of us will get between milestone 18 and 19 which means it's a good chunk of apocalypse bounty orbs uh there's a little bit of blue five ions and a little bit of blue four but 175,000 blue four ions so it's not the best but maybe you'll get lucky on the apocalypse bounty orbs and be able to strike it rich like some people have so who knows moving on to the barichara event this is going to be a seven day event involving campaign energy spending power cores and raids the raids part actually is part of the web milestone which we'll uh take a look at because i think it's on here so we'll just kind of i'll show this really quick i should have had it on this side this is the thing down here at the bottom hopefully you guys can see that uh, i'll try to zoom in a little bit more zoom problems sometimes you can see it here so it gets cut off they it was sent cut off for whatever reason the bottom part but anyways 2800 is the point total max down here and uh it's 200 points per raid battle which you can't really see too much because i'd have to zoom out further uh but anyways down here at the bottom 200 raid points it's 14 raid battles a day to max out not a problem you get 10 pads you get barichara milestone points you get ally supply or fragments which we already talked about as part of the uh coordinated assault event so going back to this total milestone points required is 120,000. this time i strongly believe that these are whale stones unlike the asgard event which is ongoing right now still blitzing for that i haven't been blitzing super crazy but for those of you who are anyways what is nice about the event that i said in the beginning from that one is that at least that for the most part sorry i shouldn't drink when i'm uh doing a video but my mouth is really dry 
that at least these ones were pretty easy to uh, finish. That if you wanted to grind it, you could. That's not the case <laughs> on non-Blitz events, and actually even in Blitz events, it's a little bit surprising. So here we are. Now, if you want to get all of the event currency, all the 10 pads, you only need to get to 41,200. And we'll see why this is pretty easy to do. And so I'm not really concerned about this. This part is going to be really easy. It just depends, I guess, a little bit on how far down the chart can we expect to get here on the side. I think we might actually get a decent way down, maybe just before a, a milestone 18. But we'll take a look here. So total 10 pads, 85,000. And then there's 13,310 pads on the web milestone, which is the 14 raid battles. Very easy to do. And uh, there's going to be 22,050. Such a weird number for the web milestone points. That's going to go towards the milestone itself, of course. And so that's a lot. That's like almost halfway of what you need just for the event currency. Now, this was there was a daily web claim as well for this event, and it gave you 3,000 points. This was 500 uh, daily points from the Voromir event. It was a six-day event, though, so actually I should change that to 3,500. Whether or not we get this part or if it's a little bit less, um, I'm not sure, so take this with a little bit of grain of salt. The event is very similar to Voromir. The difference is, is that we had an orb, uh, the Soul Tree. You know what? I That's the Voromir orb. I forgot to change this to the Dark Alley orb. I believe it is and that was worth 1500 for that event this one's worth 1750 so the points are jigged around a little bit also spending power cores is worth four for this it was two for Voromir so numbers have changed slightly so the chances of other things changing could happen but if we go through this anyway so the campaign energy per day this hasn't changed you get roughly about 1100 free to play campaign energy per day now during the Voromir event it was a six to one energy to fragment ratio, which means if you said if you spent uh, 120 energy, you would get 720 fragments. Uh, this was pretty good. Uh, that being said, because the orb is worth more, 1750 instead of 1500, might suggest that the ratio might go down a bit. It could stay the same. It might go to like five. Anything lower than five, I think, would be kind of dumb. But, you know, that wouldn't be the first time. And so I'm going to put this right here, of course, that I don't have this information. And uh, this is information that I have been requesting hard for them to add every single week. I ask them for this. Every time there's an event like this, I say, hey, can you provide the amount of the energy to fragment ratio on the blog or provide it to the content creators so that they can have informed decisions about this? And, and you know, it hasn't happened yet, but I'm still not going to give up. Anyways, if we assume that there's a 6.0 ratio on this, we're going to get 46,500 fragments over seven days. Now, that's about 23 orbs over seven days, and that's equivalent to 40,000. So, you, you know, I don't know why it actually gives you an odd number, because realistically, it should be 1750 times 23. But I think because it's actually using exact numbers here, it's kind of rounding. But regardless, it should be 1750 times 23, which is... Okay, I don't know. It's because I clicked the number. 1750 times 23, 40,250. So it's a little bit less than this. For whatever reason, it's just using the figures that I have in my tables, which is, you know, I've kind of rounded a little bit. So that's what's happening. But anyways, it, it's pretty close. I should actually use that same number maybe. Uh, what was it? 1750 times 23. Let's just let's put that in there manually. 20250. So reasonable points. Also, uh, the 200 cores, if you spend 200 cores over six... Seven days, sorry, it should be over seven days. My, my bad, but I did actually, it, it is multiplied by seven. So 200 cores times four points, that's 800 points per day over seven days is going to be 5,600 points, which means that the total reasonable points obtainable, 71,400 if the ratio stays the same. That includes this 5,600 from the coring, uh, your 40,250 from your orbs that you hopefully will get, the 22,000 from the web milestone and potentially the daily web claim as well. All of that bring you up to 71,400. I do wanna show you though what might happen though if you add points as well. So you can see here that milestone 18, you do get 1 million gold in elite six orb. That's pretty good. Is it worth spending more cores for you to do? I mean, let's find out. So if you do say, let's say 400 cores instead of uh, 200, then I can change this number here to 400 cores a day. And that'll bring you up to 77,000. It's pretty close. But then obviously we have to add more energy. So 240 energy. How does that change that? Well, because I changed that down here, I would have to do 1750 times 28, 49,000, and boom. 
you're over 80,000. So if the ratio is the same, you could do 400 cores daily if you wanna get that extra 1 million gold. Is that worth it for the cores? I honestly, maybe not. There's an Elite Six Orb in there and some other stuff. Maybe that might give you the value if you wanna push it. There's no leaderboard on this one, so that one's gonna be entirely your call. I'm gonna bring this back though, just in case, uh, to do 43,240 and drop the 240 energy there. So this is kind of what people reasonably do though, is 200 cores daily. That's kind of what I would expect is a little bit more average. So uh, this one we have to do times by, no, that's fine. And bring this back to 200 cores, that's right. So 71,400 is what I would expect unless the ratio changes. Now, if this changes to like five, I don't know, you get 19 orbs and so you're gonna get about 6,000 less. But regardless, it doesn't matter that much because the goal that it is for the 10 pads, 41,200. I think no matter which way you slice it, I think that's not gonna be very hard to do. It's just whether or not you wanna push the milestones for a little bit more for some of the stuff that's in here. Most of it's like teal gear, which we did talk about actually in the in my gear crunch video. Uh, and there's like an elite five orb in there, but realistically, this is just all bonus stuff, I would say. And the main goal is the advanced stuff, which is not gonna be very hard to get here. No later board, so no real push for you to have to, you know, spend more or push more on this. And there's nothing super crazy down there that you can't get else where there is some elite seven orbs in here but honestly that's probably a whale stone and i don't expect anyone to be able to get that without spending so that's it for this event this is going to be what i would call the prelude event to black cat because uh that's going to be around the corner in about probably about uh about a week or so now so uh yeah uh that's going to be the end of this event video hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and all that youtube stuff and don't forget that if you are interested in sharing it with your alliance that will be in my boylands resources discord channel uh usually about six to eight hours after the video goes live so you can go check it out there if you want to but otherwise until next time stay safe and healthy and i will see you all later boylands signing out